What's up y'all? So we received a pretty beefy um, portable power station that is advertised to be able to go from 0 to 100% in one hour. You know we're going to test that out. But it has a 1500 watt AC input, can charge up to 3000 watts. But that's only if you get the extra battery, uh, so you can get an extra battery with this power station. You can also get a solar panel that you can attach to uh, this power station. I think it has like 12 ports where you can charge things like, um, I guess like your microwave. Uh, we're going to test that kind of stuff out. But you also have some USB ports where you can charge things like your cell phone. Uh, this power station is called, and I hope I'm saying it right, Vitomen uh, Flash Speed 1500. 1500 because of the watch. It's advertised to have a battery that can last you 10 years and it has something called Be Beyond Technology. It has overheat protection and overcharge protection, high stability and a low risk of explosion. Advertised to have 3000 plus charge cycles. So the thing's pretty portable. It is kind of heavy though. This box weighs like 46, 47 pounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, charge it up fully, uh, plug a bunch of stuff up to it See exactly what is the max capacity we can use um, on this portable power station. We're also going to maybe pack it up, put it in the back seat of my car, maybe take it on a trail somewhere. How easy it is to transport this if you're going to like a camping area or a trail of some sort. And maybe plug stuff in while we're on the trail too, you know what I mean? If there's any other power station you want me to review, comment below. If you want to get this power station, I may give it away. Uh, comment below on what you would need it for. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll get one of you commenters who comment below and subscribe. Maybe I'll send this to you. To purchase this power station, feel free to use my link and my code in the description below to get a discount. Also, I do believe during the time this video is posted, it will be during the Amazon fall promotion. Crush out the box, it seems pretty straightforward. You can immediately see your 12 ports on the front of this power station here. Look like we have three of these ports. Uh, we have four ports for like USB, it looks like. It looks like you click a button to activate the ports, it looks like. You have two other smaller USB ports. Um, I usually would use these for like a Android phone. You can also use them for laptops. It looks like, uh, what is this? You have more ports here, all right. So I guess this is where you can plug in your power cord to charge this power station. Another plug-in that you can use to charge this power station, I believe. We have this DC, so like the cigarette lighter uh, style uh, port. Looks like they have something for jumper cable. I don't know if I've ever used a jumper cable with this type of connector, but if you have, comment below on what you think of it. Also have this connector here. At the top of the power station, looks like we have somewhat of a some storage, somewhat of a storage unit, I guess, where you can keep your keys and uh, maybe your cell phone and stuff like that. So on the back of the power station, looks like we have a light, and the light has different options. You can make it go bright, brighter, even brighter than that, or you can make it blink. All right, looks like the blink can be different speeds. All right, that's cool. Power station also came with a box. So let's see what's in the box. We have different uh, type of cords here. So these two, you can use this one here to charge up your power station. So you can also look like uh, use your car to uh, charge up your power station. That's cool. So I guess you can uh, charge your power station while you're in the car. And then we have two of these USB uh, cords. Uh, this is the kind of cord I would use for like an Android or for uh, uh, certain types of laptops. And uh, the same with this one. Um, this is also what I would use for like an Android or a laptop. It looks like we have any iPhone uh, type of cords. Power station also came with some stickers that you can put on here. I guess make it look fancy. Power station also came with a manual. Let's look into this a little bit so we can get some official names of some of these ports on here. Before we do that, quick look at the warranty here. Quick look at the refund policy. Instructions seem pretty straightforward. Shows you how to charge your power station again using this plug or uh, using this um, car charger. Shows you how long it's going to take if you use the wall outlet or the car outlet or the solar panel. And you can get a solar panel from uh, Vitoman. They do have them on their website. Shows you how you can use the CP3500 uh, cable to uh, add your extra battery. 
Out the box looks like we have 85% battery life, so let's start plugging up stuff. We're gonna start by charging my cell phone and I'm gonna use their cord. And uh, again, I do have an Android phone, so it works. I forgot I have to actually click this USB button to start charging, so I click that. Then this information shows, um, look like hours, watts, my capacity. It's uh, 142 and I'm at 44%. Let's see how long it takes for me to get to 100%. So we're going to try this uh, cell phone test again later because I forgot I had my cell phone on battery safe mode. So that's where you can only charge up to 85% uh, of your uh, battery at a time. So I'm going to take that off. That way I can charge my cell phone up to 100%. But I will say to get it back up to 84%, it took like 0.1% off of my power station here. So that's pretty good. So you take this and you put this in your vehicle okay and then uh, you take this and you plug this up to your DC input you lift this up put your DC input in there and then that should charge your power station from your vehicle so we're gonna try to charge my cell phone again now that I can go up to a hundred percent this time I'm gonna use the other USB cord uh, that looks like this. It should be charging. Look like I'm starting out at 72% power. Uh, let's see how long it takes us to go from 84% to 100%. So uh, the power station is still at 72%. I was able to charge my phone up to 100%. And uh, I think I started at uh, 1124. And I think it got to 100% at like 1144, so like 20 minutes. And again, that's with me using the uh, cord that they provided. Uh, with the power station. We're now going to try to make a smoothie using this uh, Ninja blender which has a peak a watt of uh, 1400 so so we're going to go ahead and turn this on usually makes a noise okay that means it's ready it turns on start out with low all right so it does low with no problem medium okay this is the hot oh damn all right. All right, pretty impressive. It's just gonna go through the whole spin cycle. All right, so it made it through one full cycle. Uh, got my stuff blended up, and I lost one percent on the battery life. So. And here is the uh, power of the refrigerator: 115 volt, uh, 60 hertz. We're gonna go ahead and plug that up here. Click the AC button. All right, let's uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, leave that plugged in for 30 minutes. See how much uh, battery life we lose. It does look like our refrigerator is still on. Um, it's still cold. So we've had it connected for 30 minutes and looked like it went from 78% to uh, 73%. So um, all right. The next thing I'm going to do is use this power station to charge my, or at least one of my electric bikes. And uh, yes, I am an e-bike reviewer. I usually review electric bikes on my YouTube channel. I am doing an e-bike giveaway. If you want to be included in the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to the channel. Comment below on what type of e-bike you would like. You want a folding e-bike like this one? You want like a full-size e-bike like these? Or do you want more of a moped style long-range e-bike, which is what we're going to charge right now? And the reason I'm going to do this is because... Uh, well, check this scenario out. So let's say I'm taking this e-bike uh, to work, and this is the e-bike that I usually take, like if I don't have my car for a few days, I use it to run errands, go to work, things like that. Because it has a really large battery, like a battery larger than all these other e-bikes. Um, I can go like over 100 miles per charge on this bike. So the battery is huge. All that is the battery. And the charger is also huge. So if I figure we try to plug the power station up to it, see if it can fully charge my bike but the scenario I have in my head is if I can figure out a way to uh, secure this power station on this rear rack and uh, this does have a built-in rear rack so this is a great e-bike for this example so if I plug the power station to the rear rack let's say I take this bike to work you know what I mean I park it and with this e-bike I can also set an alarm off on it so if anybody touches anything on the bike then an, an alarm will go off so plug it up to the power station let's say I get to work I plug it up throw a cover on it and then by lunchtime come back out to the bike and uh maybe my bike is fully charged you know what i'm saying sound like a good scenario and this is a 52 volt battery here's some information about the charger 
So the e-bike is now at 93% and it's 5 o'clock. Click this AC button to uh, turn that on. It looks like I'm at 69% right now. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this up. Start my charger. Let's see how long it's going to take for it to go from 93% to 100 percent so it took a little bit more than an hour for me to get to 100 percent but um i don't have the exact time it's 6 30 now but um it's been green for a minute so it did eat up quite a bit of my battery life though um i'm at 20 percent now for the last test i'm gonna uh, use a microwave i'm gonna warm up my tea here hopefully y'all can see the input and the output here so we have it plugged up have start this for one minute and 10 seconds all right look like it works so it can power up a microwave, uh, last it all the way through, so it can definitely uh, use your microwave. So let's unplug it now and see how much uh, percentage we lost. So it went from 16 to 12. So now that we have used this power station to the point where it only has 12% uh, power, we're going to go ahead and try to charge it up. So we're going to lift this here and plug our power cord in here. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Plug that up here. So it took about, uh, I would say, an hour and 15 minutes to go from 12% to 100%. I started at 545. It's now 652. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's pretty decent to go from 12% uh, to 100%. So, all right. Vitoman uh, 1500 power station. Um, I think it's a pretty decent power station, especially for the price. Um, I love all of the different ports it has. I like the fact that I could power up some pretty uh, watt draining things like my microwave my electric bike I like that you have this compartment at the top where you can keep some of the wires that you would need for this like the USB cords I like the fact that you can charge this in your car and I like that it's portable even though it is just a little heavy at 40 something pounds I'll do a second video where I test this out with a solar panel to see how long it'll take me maybe to go from 10% to 100% using solar energy but I definitely think it does everything I would need for it to do uh, for a portable uh, power station I will say though the um, microwave and my e-bike did drain the battery pretty quickly but again the price right for the price um, on a scale from 1 to 10 I would give this portable power station an 8.5 but uh, comment below what you would give this power station on a scale from 1 to 10 any other power station you want me to review also comment below any other generator you want me to review also comment below thank y'all for watching peace